We live now. We live? Yes. Yay! Hooray. Yay. <sighs> so, what can we say except welcome back to, well, another fine day, you fine ladies and gents of Twitch. Welcome back. And as always, I'm the Inverted Shadow. I'm Shadow Below 7. And we're playing more Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures. Yes. Because, uh, funny story, we literally just got through recording the demo for Little Nightmares 2. And, um... Uh... Do we dare? We're scared. Yeah, very much so. So yeah, we need a bit of a palate cleanser, so... Yeah. Moving on to episode 2 of Walls and Robert's Grand Adventures, The Last Resort. Yes. Let's not waste any more time and die right in. Yes. We don't need the tutorials as we did that the first time, so in we go. Oh? Oh? Oh, look at Gromit. <laughs> I love Gromit! Oh. The last resort. The last resort. Help, Gromit. Do something. Call the Coast Guard. What? Huh? Uh. No, 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 it's fine. Oh my! Oh god! Some dogs are plumbing's in a right pickle. Fetch me my spanner, lad, while I stick me finger in the dike. Stick me finger in the. Uh. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> oh boy! And thank you, Darth Raven, for the host. Thank you. Romit, don't forget me spanner. It's down here somewhere. Okay, so right off the bat. Just what I need. Wow. All right, nice and easy. Oh, Miss Storm Warden. Ten bits from her. Cheese! Don't forget about Splatfest later, Shads. It kicks off in three hours. Plenty of time if you want to stream it this evening time, though. And hey, I am Shadow. Hey, Stormy, what's up? And yes, I'll be streaming the Splatfest later, so. Oh, nice. Just the job. We'll need that. Bring it here now, will you, lad? Okay. Can I use that circuit breaker? Please tell me. Oh my. Don't do that, lad. We'll lose the lights. Okay. One at a time, I guess. Yes, we know what dyke means, Dark Raven, but... Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay, here you go. There you go. Well done. Our troubles are over. Whoops. Whoa! Ah! Oh no! Oh god! Mikey, that was a shock. Best trip the circuit breaker, lad. Now we go to the circuit breaker. Of the water. It's oh, electric gear. Okay. Wow, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh. Easy grommet. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Look out, lad. The tide's coming in. Best find another way to the circuit breaker. Not even hesitating right off the bat, are we? Yeah. Come in. Oh, 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 oh. You'll get yourself electrocuted. Oh. Easy. Okay. 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 Come on. Come on, Gromit. The current. There's some kind of current there. Yeah. There's no way out, lad. Is there any way we can change it? Must be. Darth Raven, this is not Peter Salas. This is, uh, what was his name? Ben Whitehead. Yeah. Coming in fast, Romy. Just what I need. This Storm Warden. Team Star for the win. Getting uh, up yeah. for Splash Test myself. Looking forward to this one, Chads. But be careful in the meantime. You don't want to end up cheesed careful, off with a shock. Ha! That's a Oh, hey, Godfora! Hey, Godfora! Hey, he's in the chat? Where? 
He said hi. He said, uh, hey there, Shaz, and I am Shaz. Just want to drop in and say hi. Hello. Chum. Again, Gotti, uh, funny story. We, we're doing this coming off of playing the demo for Little Nightmares 2, so. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, there we go. Okay. okay. You'll have to find some other way to reach the circuit break. That's the current two scroll, Gromit. Bollocks. Um. Can we throw this something? Is just a sticky wicket. It's mm. cool to knock it off. Hey, Jasper. 15 bits Jasper, in. hey! I'm going to save two hours before I gotta start hitting the, the pollen mines, aka work. Oh, dear. Aww. Well, we're happy to Hi, have hey, you Jasper. join here regardless, so. Yeah! Oh, hey, Tracy! 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 Breaker, we'll be fried! Steer clear, lad, or you'll get cooked! Okay, um... How do we stop the current? Can we throw something? Some now we're in a pickle and no mistake! Yes, we know, Wallace! That You have to find some way to shut that current off, I think. Um... Oh, look at Trace's comment, Shadow. Huh? What'd you say? Oh, hey there, sis! Aww, hi! Hold up, does that panel up there look familiar? Wait, what? That panel there? Oh, yeah. Isn't that from Curse of the Were-Rabbit? I think yes, so! Ten bits of caloric leader. I see the dynamic duo is back once again. How are you fine shadows doing today? Doing good! Yes. It's really trying to figure out how we're gonna do this. Uh, Jasper. Gromit's a badass. How is he not getting hurt? Oh yeah, he's made of clay. <laughs> but yeah, the current is too strong, so we're not getting out that way. Uh... Hmm. Oh, you're missing out, uh, uh, yeah. You're missing out right yeah. now, Japan. Curse of the Rare Rabbit's a good one. This isn't just a oh, yeah. wicked. It's not a lot at all. Oh, oh, God, we're doing oh. this. Oh! So <laughs> You'll blow yourself to smithereens. Whoa! 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 Got it! There we go! Hey, Anna. Just a moment. Oh, hey! Turn to the right, and now... It's safe to hit the lights. That's Shoo. better. Oh, that was close. There you are. Well, we'd best clean up. Crack on, lad. There's a lot to do. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Thank you, love. Welcome I'm to the insanity. It means we'll have to put Thank you. Off a little trip to the seaside. Aww. Aww. Unless... We bring the seaside to the us. Laddie, welcome to the insanity as well. And what are you thinking, Wallace? Huh? Chapter one. Chapter one, huh? Look here, we've already got a cellar full of water. Just a few more items. There Just we are. Just what I needed. And we can enjoy the seaside from the comfort of our own home. Umbrella, oh, sand, and oh, sun. something, lad. We'll stay home for the holidays and have our own beach to boot. Lucky the rain's let up for now. I'll be back in a trice with all the necessaries. Sun, sand, and beach umbrella coming up. <laughs> Ten bits and stormy. Hey, I'm Shadow. Look, it's Tracy. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, J Jasper, the ultimate staycation. Yes! Hmm. Better be careful. Or I'll be in the cellar faster than you can say secret trap door. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Umbrella, sand, sun. Hmm. Looks like we'll have to get to looking then. Yep. No beach supplies in there. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe something from our neighbors? Oh! Better be careful, or I'll be in the cellar faster than you can say secret trap door. Maybe we can ask our neighbors? If they're there, well, no, they're all out, so. Um. Oh. Whoop! 
Oh, excuse me. There's He's got an umbrella. Duncan, what are you doing here? Duncan. Picking you up, lassie. With a date. Surely you're not still thinking of the beach. It's freezing cold and might rain any moment. Ah, a little wet never dampened the spirits of my biscuit. Grab your wellies and we'll be off. Duncan, I really don't think so. You must admit don't worry about it, Jasper. Yeah. Under ridiculous. my umbrella, oh, Ella, Ella. There, Wallace. Come and meet Duncan McBiscuit. He's an old friend. <laughs> And of course, you know my two precious darlings, Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee. Huh? Say hello to Mr. Wallace, Angels. Oh! Uh, yes. Uh, look, Gromit. It's your friends from next door. Cute little fellows. Oh, yes. They're show dogs, you know. <laughs> pride yeah. winners. They're my pride and joy. Well, I won't keep you. No, 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 no. Duncan was just leaving. Leaving with you, lassie, for a day on the beach. But what if there's a cloud burst? I don't consider thunder and lightning very pleasant beach companions. But there's no thunder and no lightning. Can you hear any thundering? Any cracking or booming? Well, can you? Maybe I can. Just hush your tongue a moment, will you? Hmm. hmm. I'm guessing if we ask directly for we can't, uh... Yeah. You can't hear no thunder, can ya? Not even a wee tinkle. I suppose not. Wait. Mm -hmm. Huh? I feel like we need to find some way to replicate the thunder sound. Good idea. Ah, mind your own beeswax, you big boffin' buds. Duncan, don't be so rude. I'll be sweet as honey when I'm buzzing round the beach with my best lassie. I won't be buzzing anywhere in this bitter weather. Wait, oh. oh wait, maybe we can make thunder with the trash can? No hmm. well, first we're going to get her... <clears throat> you wouldn't go to the seaside today, would you, Wallace? You'd stay inside with a cozy cup of tea, inventing some nice. clever thing, wouldn't you? It's certainly cozier indoors. Just so. Now, Duncan, it's time you were on your way. On my way? Felicity. I refuse to go out in a thunderstorm. Oh, that's no thunderstorm. You can hear no thundering, can you? Maybe I can hear thundering. Just put your bagpipes for a moment, will you? Just yeah, right there. Needed. Right there. Yeah. Maybe go to the trash bin. Maybe we'll... What if the trash man will make thunder? Clash it. You can't hear no thunder, can ya? Not even a wee tinkle. I nice. suppose not. Damn it. No beach supplies in there. I figured yeah. he would make a loud sound. Um. Maybe we have to use... No, that wouldn't work either. Maybe go out? I, I think we'll have to come back later for that. Yeah, I think we should go out first. Maybe we'll find mm -hmm. something in town. Who knows? Good idea. We must act now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> him! <laughs> we'll the sandbags to the north. And south, the constable. And east. Still time if we hurry. Look lively now, so down. No, no, Look no, lively. Send us some film work. Anyone realize yet that this god's name Talk is Duncan McBiscuit? Oh my god. Being swept under. There's now being swept under, Major. <laughs> And you're beginning to be a public nuisance. Mm. Gracious. Oh, Duncan, there's our son. Duncan McBiscuit. That's wow. Quite a light, Mr. Paneer. It's a searchlight. Oh, Mr. Paneer. I'd say no shortage of candle power there. Right as the sun, don't you think? Wonderful for bringing in the Right as the spenders. sun. <laughs> the heavens there, that is. <laughs> I wonder, Mr. Paneer. Where might a person acquire such a light? I'd be happy to lend you this one, but if the weather warms up tonight, I'll need it to advertise my super sore away sizzling summer sale. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, I think we got an idea where we can get the sun. Yeah. I wonder, Mr. Penny. I'd be happy to lend you this one. Alright, now, oh. yeah, same thing. Yeah. So, so that, at least we know how to get the sun. Pink and weather, eh, Bollas? It is rather gloomy. Like my business. Hey, Not a single customer oh, hey. all day. My sister it's just us two today, so. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Mm. No beach brawlies left. Sorry. A big burly bloke bought the last one. He weren't very polite about it. He's called a brawly? Yeah, what I guess that's the... No beach brawlies left. Sorry. Oh, brawlies. So, wait, that's what you British folk call a I guess so. I think sounds kind of nice. Yeah. Never heard of it. Like, never heard of the term a beach brolly before. Oh, it's a slang term. Okay. Ah, for for umbrella. Water shortage. Oh, hey, it's you. Afternoon, Mrs. Gabbley. Hello, Wallace. Just when I play weather into. Well, ah, okay. Joking, Pat. I know it's rotten. Had to cancel me holiday. That's a shame. Eh? Certainly mm -hmm. has been stuck with old misery guts here. I heard that! He don't miss a word oh, I say, except when I ask him to do summit. Ah, sitting behind a till all day ain't exactly hard labor. What would you know about hard labor? <laughs> I could run this place a sight better than you, if I had a mind to. If you had a mind? What will it be, love? Um, let's talk. It's good to see you, Wallace. But where's that clever dog of yours? Oh, just doing his chores around the house. Oh, he's a good ears. Um, what are those? To read, take your pick. I'll put it on your sled. Hmm. Tattle tail. Look for. S Look for, I think it's look for summer. Or wait, we weather? weather we have weather. Swords Cause God, th weather cause God thunderstorm, or... cause God thunderstorm on it. Hmm. I'm, I'm weather forecast. The fashion or the weather thing. I think the, the weather, it should be the weather. More rotten weather on the way tonight, they say. All set. Hey, make sure he don't nick any sweets. Mind your own business. That old misery guts thinks he could run this shop. Hey, old Neil. <laughs> he couldn't run hey. the bath. Yeah, I think that summer storm shock sunbather, huh? Mm -hmm. Ta chuck. I don't understand why they be complaining about rainy weather. I mean, doesn't it rain every day there in the UK? An unhappy thing. I once had a friend banged up in there. Do they just refer to a close shave? I think so. Hmm. I wonder if we'll have to use the magazine for some thing. Welcome to the abyss. Charlie, huh. welcome to the insanity. Hello. What's going on here? Uh, um. Yes, soldier, out with it. Uh, well, uh, if you'd like to unload these sandbags, I know. Oh, Jasmine sand says bags. try the magazine with paneer. The people are pleading for sand, and we've got to give it to them. The sand, uh, sand bags. <laughs> sandbags. Sand <laughs> okay, let's break the sand. I hereby grant you permission. Oh. You grant permission? Indeed. Take all you want, Wallace. Infernal cheek. I'm the commanding officer here, you jumped up Jobsworth, and I hereby revoke permission. Shit. Can't you be cooperative huh. just this once, Major? Cooperative? Don't know the meaning of the word. Sounds subversive to me. All right, Major, how about this? Why don't we ask Wallace here who's Just in what command? Ah, uh, yes, um, young Congo. Hmm. Very well. Why not? 
tell us, soldier, who holds rank here? Remember um. your training. Um. Uh. Who do we side with? We need the sand You're either waiting, way. So. Soldier. I. Uh. Who says yes to the sand and no to the sand? I mean. Well, if it, the, Go the, ahead, the officer is giving us permission to get the sand, but Veneer is saying otherwise, so... Uh, um, do we start well, with a constable? The constable is uh, an officer of the law. Aha! Like I told you, I call the shots in this district. The sandbags are yours, Wallace. They are not right, Stormy. You're the one who wanted to dump a major. That was before you walked in and tried to usurp my authority. Wallace, kindly tell the major here who the officer in charge is, will you? That's right, soldier. Inform this non combatant nincompoop where his duty lies. <sighs> yeah. Really? Yeah, sorry, Stormy. Well, the constable is, uh, an officer of the law. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, like same thing. Never mind. Pie. Maybe we should come back later to this puzzle, too. Your civilian laws may matter at your... Soldier, will you please inform this sanctimonious civilian who's in charge? We'll come back okay, to this later, I yeah, think. we'll have to come back for this as well. But yeah, Jasper uh, says uh, give the magazine to Paneer. I'm afraid uh, I must be going. Go ahead. I'll handle this on my own. All right. Uh, uh, let's take the magazine to Mr. Pernier. <clears throat> well, any not interest that one. in? Not now, man. We need to teach this impertinent interloper to show some respect. Tell him to obey his superiors. What if we side with Crumb? The major? Side? What if we do this? Let's start with the major. We're waiting, soldier. Well, the major is a. Uh... A major? Ah! ah just so. That's what I know. Now, stand down, or I'll have you clapped in irons. Fair point, you Stormy. You may have the sandbags, Wallace. I grant you permission. I deny you permission to grant Ah, permission. okay. Sick. Sorry, it's just with, I like... I give orders around here. No, I need my reading text. I need, like, emojis for context, because, you know... I say goes. Uh... Okay, right, yeah, we're gonna have to come back to this one, so. Yeah. Oh, and God, he. You will respect my authority! <laughs> <laughs> I I'm afraid uh, I must be going. Go ahead. I'll but yeah, let's get the magazine to Mr. Premier. Yeah. Right, because Jasper's... he said the, the weather thing, right? Yeah, here you go, Mr. Premier. Stormy weather ahead, I'm afraid. Oh? Oh, no. After all that, my sizzling summer sail is ruined. I go on holiday, but the weather's a washout. Will the sun never shine on yours truly? Hmm. Well, I say, I wonder where a person might acquire such a life. You're welcome to borrow hmm. this one, Mr. Wallace. There won't be any sizzling summer sail tonight. Excellent! Breaking weather. Perfect! That's very kind of you. Always happy to help. Oh, oh, oh. this light will make a smashing sun. Excellent! One down! That's the sun. Now we need the umbrella and the sand. Hmm. Well, we know where they both are, but it's just a matter of trying to get them is the issue. I know. Can we actually switch magazines, actually? Changed your Can mind, we? Did you? Go ahead and swap, love. Hmm. Um. It's sports, knitting, fashion, or gossip. Hmm. That's what I needed. <laughs> Ten minutes of stormy. Grand day out style diagram sketching anyone? Yes. Yes. Um. Uh, I've got nothing. Um, take the summer one. Oh, some classes are quite yeah. a spectacle. Jasper Pie, Brony Heart. He's in the chat. Usual reading material, is it? 
Wait, uh, Rat's Blood says, what if you showed the magazine to, to Duncan? Because they were complaining about Thunder? Um. Hmm. Is it the weather one? Yeah. Changed your mind, did you? Go ahead and swap, love. Hmm. Maybe give bit. the magazine to also Duncan, too, because, uh. Wait, hold Felicity... on. Can we. What? Hang That's on. pure tittle tattle, that is. I read it from cover to cover. Hang on, wait. Huh? Oh, tittle tattle tail? More rotten weather on the way tonight. All right. Hmm. And then if we go back home, we can tell Duncan about the weather. All right. Yeah. Because Felicity says I don't, I don't know, I don't see any weather. But me weather ahead, I'm afraid. We are not interested in some fancy pants weather forecast. Oh, I'm interested. Don't you trust them scientists? They can't tell the future. If they could, they'd be rich and have girlfriends and that, wouldn't mm. they? A real man trusts his own senses, and my senses tell me it's a bony day for the beach. Oh, come on, All right, that didn't do out. All right. Ah. Uh, hmm. Space lad, West Wallaby Street's first indoor beach will be ready in a trice. Sun, sand, and beach umbrella coming right up. Ah. Ah. But I'm set on gathering the goods for our beach. All right, so we need something that could make a thunder sound. But what though? Uh, what about Question. the gossip mag? What about the gossip magazine? Hmm. Let's give it a try. Yeah, let's give her the gossip. Alright, take that. That's pure tittle tattle, that is. Alright. Okay, so yeah, we only navigator. have one magazine at a time, so. Yeah, one magazine at a time. Nice to see you, Wallace. Hi, Mr. Paneer. Hey, short film for me, it's definitely the wrong trousers just because it's the one I watch the most, so. For me, it's a close shave. Not interested. I refuse to go out in a thunderstorm. Nope, that didn't do out. Oh, there's no thunderstorm. You can't hear no thundering, can you? Maybe I can hear thundering. Just button your backpipes for a moment, will you? Is starting with the sandbags an option? Hmm. Better be careful, or I'll be in the cellar faster than you can say secret trap door. Jack, can I hear? No, nope, that's not Yeah, that try. Idea. Maybe try saying yeah, with the sandbags? Can. I suppose. If that even so. is an option. Yeah, let's try that, I guess. Alright, so. Yeah, the, the gossip magazine didn't do out, I'm afraid. Yeah, that was. That didn't do well. Afternoon, Wallace. Jeez. Oh, yeah. It's a stack of Stilton. No, oh, Wallace, you and your cheese. The earth shaking roar of thunder? Uh, well, mm. actually, uh, it doesn't matter when it comes to the complex question of climate. A person should never really I rely have on an his idea. own senses. Only the oh. experts really understand the weather. Oh? Is that a fact? Watch again. <gasps> His stomach! Oh, is that thunder I hear? Uh, not exactly. Uh, didn't think so. After all, you can't tell what the weather's doing just by looking and listening, can you? You've got to hmm. rely on the experts. Hmm. So our stomach, later. then. If we could trick them somehow... Excuse me. 
regarding those sand barracks. Not now, man! We need to teach this impertinent interloper to show some respect. Tell him to obey his superiors. Go on, Wallace. Tell the old goose what's what for a chucks him in chalky. Uh, Can we those sand barracks? Not now, man! No, it, we need it to does not. Go no. On, so, once again, it looks like we're at an impasse there. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, I, I'm afraid uh, I must be going. Go ahead. I'll handle this on my own. Hmm. I'm afraid my summer sail won't be very sizzling this year. Sorry to hear that. Wait, the sign! What's uh, the, the sign said the home delivery. Skilton? And that reminds me. I just sent the truck out with your delivery. When you return, uh -huh. you'll find it waiting. Deliver the cheese to the house! That's there. it! Ah, just like Gromit. Oh, you know, Mr. Wallace, there's nothing like coming home to a faithful, loyal cheese. I quite agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says home delivery. Now we're on to something. Aha! Oh, a special order for 62 West Wallaby Street. Stilton, one of my favorites. Now, and I think I have an idea, now. Shadow. Oh, not interested. Oh, that's me. Now, when he does a thing. Here thundering. Just button your backpacks for a moment, will you? Now. Oh, yeah, it's mouth-watering. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Oh my goodness! Bingo! That's thunder, all right. All I right. Really upon us. Oh, I'm sure it may be thundering, but but do you see? My what favorite pieces are uh, 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 cheddar and don't. mozzarella. I'm not going to stay out here with you waiting to I be I love mozzarella. I'm going to seek shelter, and if you've any sense at all, Duncan McBiscuit, you'll do the same. Good day. What? Oh. But, yeah, I am a mozz I am a cheddar and mozzarella person. Uh, <clears throat> Just our luck. Sweet. We've got the umbrella. I'll just borrow this. Two down. Just the thing for our cellar-based. Now I just need those sandbags. Experience. There must be something we can do to sway that. Oh yeah, I agree, uh, Jasper. Mozzarella and cheddar sticks. Yes. God damn it! You're making me hungry again. Now I want mozzarella sticks. I just want something to eat. I'm tempted to get checker snacks. I don't. I think I'm literally pulling up Uber Eats for this. Don't doesn't checkers do mozzarella sticks? I think. And now you got me. I'm sorry, Jasper, but I gotta do this. Jasper, double order of mozzarella sticks. Cat. Oh, stop making me oh, hungry, God. you cad! Oh wait, Jasper hmm? says, "Look at the pie." When, when conferring to the constable and the major, look at the pies. Hmm. Look at the pies. Not now. All right? Are you no, sure about that? That's what Jasper says. Look at the pies. Two fine flavors that work well together. We are talking about who's in charge, not flavors. Just a moment. Are you saying mm -hmm. that instead of bickering over who's in charge, we should be working together as a team, like yes, steak and kidney? Uh, are you saying that in a crisis like this, we must act as one, like a well-trained commando unit? Actually, it's a sign. Exactly, a sign oh, that we can oh. rise above our squabbles. Thanks, Jasper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll send these sandbags off with you. Thank Excellent. Goodness. Well, all right. Off, then. I can hear an up meat pie calling Thank you, me Jasper. Name. Yes, I can. Thanks, Jasper. Ernest Dibbins, it says. Also, go for no. I never heard of um, the millet cheese. It's the blinking mm. ketchup, Ernest. Now then, soldier. All I need is your requisition form. Requisition form? That's right. Got to play by the book. Can't let the spies sabotage operations, can we? 
spies. Oh, Major. Surely you've heard about the spies from abroad. They're everywhere. Don't look so rattled, man. Just bring me your requisition form, and you'll soon be neck hmm. deep in splendid sandbags. Hmm. Spies? Then, wait, I wonder. Requisition form. Maybe this? Oh, yeah, that. It's only for cheese, but give that here. Good heavens. Special order <laughs> delivered to 60. Oh, my God. Wallaby Street. You've done the service proud. <laughs> now, <laughs> no time for chitter chatter. I'm needed in West I had a hunch. And I had, I had to act on it. This game, the writing in this game is pure genius. I know, right? Can't go wrong with British humor. Yeah. Nice to see you, brothers. Okay. All right. It's in the bag. Literal bag. <laughs> Woo -hoo! We got this literally in the bag, eh, Shadow? <laughs> <laughs> now I wonder if... Yeah! That? Whoops a daisy. There we go. <laughs> oh, all the sand we need. The Riviera, here we come. Great news, Gromit. All the goods have been gathered. Now it's time for some elbow grease, eh? To the cellar. All right. Chapter two, the guest house mutiny. Job done, Gromit. Well, damn. Guest house mutiny. Huh. Time to Holy crap. The beach, eh? Whoa. We deserve a holiday. What all on this Just place? A minute. Such a lovely beach. It's a shame to keep it to ourselves when we could share it with Welcome paying the customers. Abyss. Hmm. Just uh. imagine. West Wallaby Street Waterworld. Hexy, welcome a to the insanity. Genuine beach house. Hello. Hexy sends us what I need. Uh, Miss Stormworm, attraction. ten bits. Fun oh, fact: Wallace and Gromit is what got me to try so many cheeses in real life. In fact, if you do like cheese, I recommend you trying out samples of new cheeses you haven't had before. You might oh, like them. Oh. Uh, I I was only teasing. Just ask that great big pudding there. Shut up. I ain't no pudding yet. These so dogs are disturbing the peace. Bylaws state that all livestock must be kept under proper control in public places. Oh dear. And they're not livestock. I want a refund. I want a refund at all. Refunds would indeed appear to be in order, Mr. Wallace. What do you say? Uh, uh, um. Well, here at West Wallaby Street Waterworld, customer satisfaction is our top priority. AJ. If you'll just be patient, I promise we'll have everything under control by supper time. Uh, You've got till supper time, no later. Not much of an holiday so far, I'm sorry to say. Mm, those mutts are a threat to public <laughs> safety. Oh no, dear. Darling, my dears, livestock. We can't afford to give refunds, Gromit. We've spent all our money doing the house up. This could be a final disaster. What are we gonna do, lad? I never thought we'd have a house full of unhappy holiday makers. Bunch of mooning minis, if you ask me. I'm having a grand old time. <laughs> well, that's one. Go to Samurai Jack, the Scotsman, you. There we are. This customer relationship management isn't so hard. I had to say that joke. There's hope for our little venture yet. You'd best get supper started. Make it a feast to remember. I'll see to our guests. We'll soon have okay. a house full of happy campers, eh, lad? So we somehow have to get make sure everybody's happy, so... Hmm. Oh. Enjoy Major? Enjoy your holiday, I hope, Major. Oh, yes, absolutely. Dashed comfortable billet you have here. Oh, uh... Thank you. Uh, we strive to achieve complete customer satisfaction. There's that wasn't one. so hard. Put that right. down and pay attention. Oh, 
I am about to reenact one of the greatest desert battles of history, the Siege of Aqaba. Not many know the tale. It was late 1914. Siege of Aqaba? Or was it Aqaba? Aqaba? That, I'm sure. On the one side was a single British soldier, T.E. Lawrence, better known to you civvies as Sir Lawrence, Lawrence. Olivier. On the other, the invading army of the Ottoman Empire, thousands strong. You know the story. Lawrence single-handedly defended a desert fortress from a massive attack. He had only huh? one rifle and no ammunition. He was all alone, just like this. Lawrence watched the enemy from a secret vantage point sheltered by enormous red boulders. <laughs> anyway, as the enemy massed, vultures began to circle overhead, crying out in their desperate thirst for blood. <laughs> anyway, now at this point your average Joe would have thrown in the towel and anything else he had to hand. But what do you think our Lawrence did? He took tea. <laughs> anyway, tea Lawrence was about to dunk his digestive when suddenly Oh, blast and bother. This isn't right. Not quite historically accurate, I'm afraid. I'll have to start again. Just a moment. Okay, I looked it up, and yeah, the Battle of Aqaba it was indeed an actual battle fought in the First World War. Interesting. I oh, hey, Felicity. Expect that. Rome, it's favorite. Oh, god damn it! I actually am hungry now. I'm hungry too. Where are my mozzarella sticks, Jasper? I'm actually gonna make all the order checkers tonight. God damn it. E now I want I want five guys burgers and fries, honestly. Actually. God, why? Oh, Jasper, no I changed my mind. You can keep mozzarella sticks. I want hot dogs and fries. Luke, and I quite fancy this one. Very incognito. Now you gotta be split on two. Don't God, feck. My own babies. I want five guys now. Get up. Uh, I'm afraid fashion isn't really my forte. Okay. Nonsense. What man is immune to the allure of a well-dressed woman? <clears throat> Brian, I want five guys. Uh, why? You're making me hungry for checkers and five guys. I can't tell which one I want. I, uh, I love their hot dogs and fries. Okay, so yeah, we have to help the Major out with his little war and reenactment there, as it were. Hard at work, eh, Gromit? That's what I like to see. We'll soon have a house full of happy holiday makers, never fear. Oh, cracking idea, lad. Everyone loves a copper. You'd best attend to your pots and pans, eh? Hmm. Hmm. We have tea now. Tea! I wonder if we could give that to the Major. Yeah, because that's, that's what the Major said. We need about tea. What? Aww. Oh. Oh. Are you? My. Oh. Our guests do love the water slide. Well, one of them does anyway. Sorry for the screaming. That's my niece. That's a stinky cheese. Okay. <laughs> Beg pardon. Oh. Uh... Anything I can do for you, Mrs. Gabberly? Oh, dear. Oh, what a mess I am! But it's me own fault for letting that mangy McBiscuit get under my skin. Why should I oh, care no. what he says? As my mum taught me, sticks and stones will break your bones, but silly names can never hurt you. Hey! Here comes trouble! Yeah, big fat pudding! <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, it's true enough, I know. It's about to shape for a beach holiday. Perhaps I should just get my refund and go home. Oh, no. Mm, that's kind of you, but it's no good. I can't be talked out of a mood like this, can I? Oh, well, I, uh... I should count my blessings. At least my new outfits. 
that something, isn't it? Hmm. I think we need to find something to lift her spirits. Yeah. Fresh as a daisy. Mm, I can't say as I understand you, Wallace. Oh, it's a sorry old world, isn't it? Thanks to the bullies. Hmm. Hmm. Clear as glass. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Yeah, may be knocking on. Too old for a beach holiday, that's for sure. Hmm. It's a sign. Oh, a sign. I'm too old no. for fun. No. It's not just me, is it? What do you think of Duncan McBiscuit? Ah, we're... Hmm. Cheer up. That's a stinky cheese. Ah, he's a rich stinky cheese, he is. Oh. Ah. I see what... I see what you gotta do there. Oh. You're a rich good listener, you are, Wallace. Hey, you're in a right mess, you are, Winnie Gabbley, and no mistake. What to do? What to do? Hmm. Um. I could just pick a knife. <laughs> Dark. Sharp as a knife. I'm afraid you've lost me, Chuck. Oh. oh, what do I know? I'm going soft in the head, aren't I? Shit. No, 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 Fresh as a daisy. Mm, I can't say as I understand you, Wallace. No, oh, I'm a making sense. Do you catch me drift? Hmm, clear as glass. Well, that's good anyway. At least I'm not just ah. talking to myself. Ah, I think I get it. Yeah, whatever she says, we got course fun, right? Here, Wallace. I'd go home to Mr. Gabbley, but there's no point. Won't nice! Get no sympathy from him indoors, will I? No point. Sharp as a knife. Right? That's a stinky cheese. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I think that's really sharp. Because you said no it's point. Sharp as a knife. Me, is it? What do you think of Duncan McBiscuits? Okay, okay. Every one of his, every one of her problems corresponds to something on the table. Yeah, so exactly. The yeah, what she says. That's yeah, stinky cheese. cheese. That's a stinky cheese. Ah, he's a there we go. Stinky cheese. Yeah, whatever she yeah, says corresponds to the right item. I'm feeling a bit better now. Okay. What's hey, next? I may be knocking on. Too old for a beach holiday, that's for sure. Knocking on a beach holiday, that's for sure. Uh... Wait, what if... Fresh as a daisy? Oh, I don't know about that. But it's ever so kind there we go. of you to say so. You're an exemplary host, Wallace. Okay. Oh, it's a sorry old world, isn't it? Thanks to the bullies. Now, what do we pick for that one? Uh... Sharp as a... Maybe? Uh, hold on, yeah. wait. Food. I'm afraid you've lost me, Nope, that's not it. I was gonna say it's sharp as a knife. No, I'm a making sense. Do you catch me drift? Okay, there! Was... Clear as glass when she says that. Yeah, clear as glass. Clear as glass. Well, that's good anyway. At least I'm not just talking to myself. Oh, you're a really good listener, you are, Wallace. Oh, what do I know? I'm going soft in the head, aren't I? Um, sharp as a knife? Sharp as a knife? Well, now, that's uh -huh. kind of you to say so, ha! Wallace. Good one, sister. You know what? Hey! Gabbley's had oh, yes! enough of feeling sorry for herself. So what if I'm a bit like a pudding? Very nice I one, sister. With You're welcome. I have. 
I can take care of a bullying McBiscuit any day. Thank you, Wallace. You've a right kindly way with words, you have. Uh, glad to be of service. I'll be fine now, Pat. Reckon I'll finish my story. Hey! hey there, you big fat! Shut your trap, you tart and tear away, or I'll box your ears! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I do like a good book. No need for Would you like tea with that good book? Then? Oh, no. I'm as happy as Larry me. Oh, another happy camper. On the right All track. Right. So far, so good. Three down, three more to go. Yes. Hmm. A slip slide to the seaside, eh? Ho, ho, ho. That was a fine holiday, but this one's bound to be even better once our guests are satisfied. I well, I already got my own staycation. I'm our, I'm snuggled up in my bed and in my robe. From it. Not supper time yet, is it, lad? Sorry about that. Hmm. So we have the, we still have to figure out the thing for crumbs, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Whoa! Ah! Constable! Mr. Wallace, I'd like a word with you, if you please. Uh... Enjoying your stay at West Wallaby Street, Waterworld, Constable? I'm this close to having your establishment shut down. Shut down? Uh... You heard me. No. These dogs are a public nuisance and an elf hazard and all. But they're not our dogs! Well, bonkers, they did. And all because I tried to clear away that horrible little toy of theirs. I don't approve of litter, you know. I believe Miss Flitter... I warned Felicity Flitter, no. And now she must face the full force of the law. I'm issuing a formal caution for the disruption of lawful quietude. It's the third I've had to write today. The third? Oh. Aye, the first two got eaten. Give this one to Miss Flit and tell her to remove her animals or I'll be forced to shut the place down. Sick. Okay. Gromit won't mind if I borrow this. Hmm. Oh. Huh? Jeez. Hmm. Somebody tells me that'll come in handy. Most likely. Or this. Yeah. Candy. F oh, cotton candy. Ah. So I guess that's again what they call in Britain. Hmm. Yes. Ooh, that seems to be in working order. Do we take the note to Miss to uh, Felicity? Yeah. Oh, I say. Gromit never reacts like that. Watch your fingers. They don't like anyone touching the toy. <laughs> Other backgrounds have we got here? Hmm. Hmm. Just those two, or? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Oh, ooh. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Welcome, Crow. Welcome to the insanity. Hello. I get the feeling one of those will have will come in handy somehow. Hmm. Maybe it also has something to do with something else in here, maybe? Maybe. I feel you there, Jasper. 
Yeah. Hmm. I want to make these not like, like walls is too. Cheese. Say cheese, Wallace. <laughs> Needs ironing, it does. Hmm. hmm. Maybe, it did, maybe it was good for something. Yeah. The flag could come in handy. Mm hmm. I wonder if there's anything for the beach one that we could use. Hmm. Like the beach ball, perhaps? I think the ball, yeah. Aha! Oh, bouncy. Maybe get the maybe get the ball to the dogs? Oh, I'm sure I recognize that handsome fellow from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Big fella. A man of action, our major. Except when he's resting, of course. She's scot free now. Hmm. Give the ball to the dogs? Yeah. Good little fellas. Sure! Oh, That's what I suggest. Get the ball to the dogs. That did not work. Damn it. Cute little fellas. Yeah, no. Oh, Damn it. My. So, that's not gonna work. I guess we take the ticket to Felicity to tell him about the dogs? Possibly. Let's look upstairs first, now that I remember. Oh, yeah. Gangway! Cannonball! Coming through! Oh, boy. Ah, oh great. Uh, Mr. McBiscuit, may I, uh, have a word? Oh! Uh, later then. <laughs> Crikey, oh. the infrastructure's getting a lot of wear and tear. Hmm. Trouble springs eternal, it seems. Wonder that Very fashionable. Ooh. Oh. Safety first. <laughs> hmm. A bit gloomy out there. I wonder. Hmm. All in working order. I wonder if that spring would be anything. All in working order. Hmm. Spring come up. Or we gotta get him. You gotta get him over here first. Yeah. For our guest house. The question is, how do we do that, though? Uh. I'm not dressed for water sports. Indeed, you are not. Uh. Tricky, tricky. I think we also still haven't spoken to Mr. Paneer now that I Yeah, remember. Mr. Paneer. Let's see if he has to say something. Your searchlight is just what West Wallaby Street Waterworld needed, Mr. Paneer. Everything satisfactory, I hope. No, not satisfactory at all. A certain Scottish gentleman has been deconstructing my constructions. Perhaps the management could have a word with him. I'm afraid Mr. McBiscuit is rather difficult to pin down. You've got hmm. to do something. If I can't finish my sandcastle, I'll have to insist on a refund. Your castle looks very handsome, Mr. Paneer. Such charming little bucket shapes. I do admire creative artists like yourself. Oh, thank you, Miss Flit. At least someone appreciates art and craft. Look. It's almost done. What do you reckon? Uh, very nice. Hmm. That's the enchanted hmm. tower where the beautiful princess sleeps, dreaming of a successful marriage to a financially secure prince. <laughs> That's the tower of groceries where the heroic young shopkeeper sells top quality produce. Impressive architecture, don't you think? Oh, uh, yes. That's the royal court where the king holds sumptuous banquets for all his royal chums. 
That's the horrible dungeon where the mean bullying knight is kept locked in chains. Hmm. I should look in on our other guests. But I'm nearly done. Just one last touch. There. The perfect finishing touch. The mark of finest quality produce. He, Miss Flit's going to be impressed. Oh, yeah, she will be ever so impressed, uh. I'm sure. Oh, no. Uh. Yuck! Whoops, ah. my foot ah. slipped, silly me. <laughs> my castle stomped oh, on by no. a tartan heel. See what I have to put up with? A holiday's not a blinking holiday if I can't finish yeah. my sand castle. Now I have to start all over. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Hmm? I wonder... Hmm. Oh wait, that's right! If we change the sound of the right kind of ambiance, then maybe... Oh yeah! I'm sorry, well, you know... Yeah! The question is, which one, though? Hmm. I think he said thunder or something? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it was thunder. So definitely not that. This, perhaps? Try that. Well, let's see about, uh... Any interest in this? Perfect! Just like the great boulders of the Akbar Desert! There we go. Any interest in a flat? Some foreign thing? Of course not. All right, now. May I oh. offer you a spot of key, Major? Of course. Sharpens the wits. There we go. All right. All right, now, what else? Hmm. Care for a kick around, Major? No time to play ball, man! There's a battle to be reenacted! Birds? Oh, was it birds? Hmm. Well, let's try it, shall we? Yeah! You're in luck, my boy! I was just about to reenact the Siege of Akamar. You know the story. Sir Lawrence took cover under massive red boulders. Just like ah, this. Got that. Vultures circled the sky, crying out for blood. Just like this. There oh, we go. Cool as a cabbage. Took tea. <laughs> Just like this. Aha! Lawrence was taking tea and about to dunk his digestive when suddenly... Ten thousand howling Ottoman soldiers charged the fortress! Tea was ruined, obviously. But did Lawrence of Olivier give up? Never! He took his rifle and levered the great red boulders down the dunes, rolling them straight into the enemy horde. With the invaders in disarray, Lawrence, armed only with his bayonet, and still desperate for cover, counterattacked. He took them on one by one until Ooh. he achieved total and complete victory. Well, there you go then. Shadow. 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 Hmm, this is the god or something. I'll just tidy this up. Hmm. Hello there. Would you like these sunglasses? Oh, wonderful, Mr. Wallace. Very stylish. I'll use these for my new look. It's going to be such fun. I have the glasses. I just need the scarf. Oh. Oh. Any interest well, in this? Oh, oh thank sorry, you, Mr. Wallace. My what a lovely my eyes scarf. like shut up and I Actually, just dozed off a bit. Sorry. It's, uh, such it's fine. vibrant color and such a pretty pattern. Brrr. It's perfect for my new look. My new look is complete. 
Just a moment. You're in for a surprise. Oh, boy. Ta oh, dear. Hey! What do you think, Wallace? Hey! Am I not mysterious? Uh, oh. quite mysterious, ah. yes. <gasps> oh, where's Felicity? Where did Miss Flint go? Uh. Here I am! <laughs> He's having fun. We do have fun, Wallace, don't we? Hmm. Well, she's having fun. No, I think we have to give her this. Constable Dibbins has requested. Constable Dibbins is mistaken. Bochy Woo and Tinky Wee would never misbehave. Are you they sure about seem that? A touch rambunctious. Oh, very well. Let's get this over with. Threatening behavior towards an officer of the law, that's a serious offense, that is. Don't think I won't lock you up, because I will. This is your final, final warning. Ah! <gasps> oh, gee, whoa! Aha! There we go! How could you behave like this? Mommy is very disappointed very very disappointed <laughs> and what did you do to upset my precious cupcakes hey, hey! cupcakes my darlings did the bad man upset you don't be scared mommy's here now how about a little dressing up game to make it all better oh my god Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. She spoils them. Oh, come along, my sweets. <sighs> She's lucky I didn't throw those mutts in the kennels. I were this close, I were. You can only push PC Ernest Dibbins so far. I hope your holiday is proceeding in a satisfactory manner, Constable. Satisfactory? Hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. Everything appears to be quite satisfactory, peaceful, and in order. Thank you, Wallace. Champion. Is that everyone? Getting there. Comet. Two more to go. All right. Um, oh yes, uh, E.G. had a question for you, Shadow. I'll I'll worry about that after my nap. Mm -hmm. I'll take care of the I'll take care of the music after my nap, E.G. I will. Now since Moya Uh Duncan Because I got this from Crumb earlier. Yeah. Now I wonder. Hey, this little fella might enhance your sand castle. A knight to defend the castle, eh? Why not? It couldn't hurt. Put him where you like. Right, so it was that one where he that got stolen, yeah. right? Yeah, I think so. That's the tower of groceries where the heroic young shopkeeper sells top quality produce. <laughs> Impressive architecture, don't you think? Oh, uh, yes. Or hmm. that's the royal court where the king holds sumptuous banquets for all his royal chums. That's the horrible dungeon where the mean bullying knight no, is kept locked in chains. That's the Enchanted Tower, where the beautiful princess sleeps, dreaming of a successful marriage to a financially secure prince. Right, because the one that got solved on is the, the that that one, right? Yeah. Just it was one that one? Last touch. There. Yeah. The mark of finest quality produce. I can't wait to show Miss Flit. And I'm sure she can't wait to see. Oh no. Uh Oh, my boot, my there boot, we go. <laughs> so you're right, Duncan. Oh, 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 oh. Oopsie. Well then. Did I do that? To work in peace now, I reckon. Oh well, jolly good. Phew. Well then. I'd assume that's another one, right? You think it would be? Now for the finishing touch. The defender Ooh. of the kingdom. Hey! However do you manage such lovely creations, Mr. Paneer? It's a knack, Miss Flit. 
If I hadn't made it into grocer school, I might have been an engineer. But of course, groceries are my first love. Ah, uh, anything else I can assist with? No, thank you, Mr. Wallace. You may consider me a happy camper and most satisfied customer. We Excellent. Do aim to please. Alrighty then. All that's left is Miss Flit. Yeah. Also, before I forget, I was supposed to be playing this because Stormy sent me an audio. I don't know what it is. What? I'm, she told me to specifically play it for you. Okay. I'm going to play it now so everybody can hear. What do okay. you think of that? Mr. Pajama wearing, basket face slipper wielding, tight drip back together, you being blade more blithering. Come on, Jesse. On the stream. Oh, I'm on my phone. I don't think I can hear it on the stream. I'll show it to you later. Sorry. Hello again. Uh, I trust everything at West Wallaby Street Water World is to your satisfaction. Oh, gentle man, okay. Split. We strive to satisfy. It's sweet of you to ask, Mr. Wallace. I'm having a wonderful time. Excellent. All this drama swirling around me. But I remain an oasis of calm in the hurly burly of holiday madness. Oh, what about Gromit? Glad to hear it. All right, that's everyone. I think I'm getting the hang of this. What about <laughs> Gromit? At last, hmm. a house full of satisfied customers, just as I predicted. I'd best tell Gromit to lay the table. Whoa! Chapter 3, Hounds of Horror. Oh, no. oh shit. He's ready! I must compliment our Dinner host. served. I've had a cracking holiday. Thank goodness for that. It was a near thing though, wasn't it? Ooh, smell those fish and chips. We can look forward to superior chow here in the offices, may as well. Mm. The tableware doesn't seem to be in breach of any health and safety regulations. Enforcement's the key, of course. You smell like heaven, lassie. Did you buy a new perfume for our date? Oh, really, Duncan? That's just the flower in my hair. And I'll get a I'm room, you sure two. I'd call it ah, a good ear there, Jasper. <laughs> um, ah. Uh, before we tuck in, on behalf of the management, that is, Gromit and me, I'd like to welcome you all to our new venture. West Wallaby Street Waterworld, the only holiday destination with its own all-weather seaside in the cellar basement uh, feature track. have a few words to say myself. Hmm? Raise your glasses. Raise them, I said. Uh -huh. Say a great day with a great lass. The sweetest sights I ever smelled. That's right. I'm talking about. Hey, oh, a blackout. Yeah, what's all this? Who's there? Yes, but I should see you. Is that right? He's gone. This is ridiculous. Everyone, be quiet. Calm down, I said. I must insist. Oh, calm. This is no fun. Don't be quiet. Whatever's happening to me? Prince. Of course. Oh, great. Help me! Help me, somebody! Hmm. Yeah, how's it feel, buddy? Uh, is someone here? Yeah, good Help luck, Jasper. Me. I can't Good move. luck, Jasper. Well... Huh? Just what, what I there? needed. Evil dogs indeed, all meal. I know, right? So we have to get him out of there somehow. Is there a shovel? Could be around here somewhere, maybe. That, that's one thing I imagine you'd come out with. Help me! I'm 
stuck. <laughs> hmm. What can we dig them out with? Ah, we do still have a shovel. I knew it. Whoever you are. I didn't think you still had it. Yeah. You found me just in time. I've located the victim. Mr. McBiscuit has sustained a nasty knock to the noggin and don't remember now about it. Happily, he will recover. However, aggravated thumping is a serious offence, and I've no choice but to treat every one of you as suspects. Outrageous! Oh, <gasps> I never suspects. <coughs> Until our thumper is caught, nobody leaves this house. Nobody comes in, and nobody goes out. Not till I know the person who done it. I know who did it. Spies from abroad. Seven oh, God. From the South Sea. Thank you, Major. That's enough of your doolally chatter for now. Only cold, hard facts can solve this mystery. Solve this mystery? That's right. By the book. You know, uh, burden of innocence and uh, proof of purchase and all that. That's our real investigations. Now, what's that contraption? My latest prototype, Constable. The Deductomatic Mystery Solver. Hmm. hmm. Deductomatic? Interesting. Is that what's been taking money out of Miss Irving's account? Oh, no, Mrs. Gabberly. The Deductomatic harnesses unused brain power to solve mysteries. If you're huh. biting the finger, Wallace, any accusation must be backed up by art, fact, and proven according to the law. Well, I... Uh, that is... it should be working. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got it! All right then. Tell us, Wallace. Who thumped Duncan McBiscuit? Who done it? Who done it? Huh? Oh. That can't be right. We're Even waiting. Uh, hmm. uh, uh, just a moment. Any idea who done it, lad? You wouldn't mind pointing him out, would you? Hmm. This could be a tough one. Yeah. Well, it's obviously the dogs, right? Well, yeah. But how are we... I'm a dog person. I do not like those dogs. Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee. Two wee pups laying junk and low. That's daft, that is. Aye, silly that. The very idea of accusing my dear doggies. Absurd. Ah, we gotta make them prove it absurd. somehow. <laughs> absurd, eh? Nothing is absurd before the law. Here we go. It is the absurd claims the law takes most seriously. For ah. if the absurd ah. can't expect justice and a fair hearing, then who among us can? He's got a point. We must treat this accusation according to the law. The law requires proof. Proof requires the... Uh, Hold on. Proof requires three things. First, the motive. Why did the suspect thump Duncan McBiscuit? Second, the weapon. What was he thumped with? Third, a witness. Who can collaborate? C -c -c corroborate it. Uh, back up your accusation. Do you hmm. have a motive, a weapon, and a witness, Mr. Wallace? Uh, I'll just recalibrate the inference ometers. There we are. What'll it be? Motive, weapon, or witness? Hmm. Where to mm. begin? Well, we have a witness. That's Gromit, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, he saw the two, the dogs bury. The yeah. In the saw sand. that. Kraken, now we'll know the truth. The truth about what? Uh, the witness. 
I've identified the witness. Good show. Tell us who witnessed, um, uh, Tinky Woo and Pochi Wee assaulting Mr. McBiscuit. Okay, um... Oh, not that again. Well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Uh, who would you pick for a witness, lad? Uh, ourselves? No? Uh, I don't know. This is confusing. Oh, cock and balls. Mm. Uh, hint, please. That's what I needed. Perhaps you need clues, yeah. Yeah, clues. But where do we start? My witness is Major Crumb. Quite right. I saw him. It's black as pitch. The door cracked open, and I saw him dragging away the body. Short, hairy fellows with sunken eyes and tattooed necks. Sailors from the South Seas. Mm. Spies! Spies from abroad! No. Oh, God. Again? I think we've heard enough. Wait, Major. Did your spies look like them too? Good heavens! Hang on. No, there is a resemblance, but something's not quite right. That's that, then. Your witness isn't credible. Uh. Shoot. Damn it. Oh. Shit. Oh. Uh, still a few bugs in the system to winkle out. All right, that's enough of that. Everyone can go about their normal business, but remember, Nobody leaves the house until the mystery is solved. Alright, so we're not quite there yet. What do we do now? Well, so much suggested it. We need, perhaps we need Once clues. I have the yeah. Automatic, properly calibrated, this case will be elementary, dear Gromit. Elementary. In the meantime, why don't you, uh, sniff up some clues for the deductomatic to process, eh, lad? You might start with the constable there. I expect he's got some juicy leads. I've got the suspects right mm. where I want them. Written down on the official constabulary notepad. I'll crack the case with this, I will. That's my um, automated ocean breeze just what simulator. I'm a Yoshi fan. Hello. It's got to be one of these three, but which one? Three? Three? We know Paneer or Crumb. <coughs> uh. We need to do something to make those dogs possibly. Noteworthy to Crumb because I think we were onto something when we picked him. I think, maybe. Ah, the motive. Likely to be some physical object. I remember a case a few years back where the motive was a turnip with two blokes claiming the growing rights. Right, the weapon. I'll wager it's a blunt object. Your more polite objects rarely do much thumping. Hmm. Hmm, yes. The witness. Likely to be a person. Your vegetables and minerals don't generally have much to offer in the way of witnessing. Hmm. Do you sense hmm. something, boy? Hmm. His motive is clear enough. But could this apparently gentle purveyor of fine groceries be a Jekyll and Hyde character, perhaps? A vicious thumper in disguise? I must interrogate him! Hmm. Hmm. I hope we didn't just sit him up on the wrong track there. I don't know. We're gonna need more than that, though. Hmm. Where do we go? 
Yeah. Stupid dogs. I'm a dog person and I hate those fuckers. Shut up! Ah. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Ah! That happened. Well, we're outside now. Can we just use the pond to get ourselves back into the cellar? We could, I think. Why do we need to go? Why do we need to go here then? Hmm. Hmm. This is quite somber. Mr. Gabbley's news agent. Hi. Now open for business. Is that a customer I hear? Oi, you wanna shop here? You gotta follow my rules. Yeah? Take what you like and I'll put it on slate. Business will sort out payment later. Mm. Got that? Mm. Oi, don't nick nothing while you're about it. Okay, so... That were easy. I don't know why Winnie makes so much fuss. So I think we need one of these Mr. magazines. Yeah, I think now so. So nix out the weather one, since we already used that one. Yeah. So... Tattletail? Hmm. Tattletail? Or... All the news without the nagging. Well, the fashion one, we already... Didn't we already do that with Miss Flint or something? Yeah, we did, the, we did the fashion one with Miss Flint. I guess Tattletail. See if that works. Let's see if there's anything else out here first. There. Hmm. Woof! No! Hey, it took quite a thumping, didn't it? Can't say he didn't deserve it. Still can't leave him to rot all on his lonesome. Someone's got to tend to the great lug. No. He's coming round. Oh, my head. Somebody stop the spanning. There's a whirlpool I'm in. Don't fret, Patch, you've had a nasty knock. Did you see who thumped you? No, but I can almost remember what hit me. The hmm? terrible weapon that laid me low, it's... You saw the weapon, what hit you? I, I think so. It was... Oh, I can't remember a thing. My brain's been boggled. Oh, you've got amnesia, you have. Amnesia? Oh, oh no, that as well as a bang to the head. Is it fatal? Just take things step by step, Chuck. What's the last thing you can remember? Well, I was upstairs getting set for a jump junior on slide, but something wasn't right. Them little dogs of Felicity's were underfoot and they wouldn't shut their yaps. Duncan McBiscuit doesn't take guff from yapping wee dogs, so I grabbed that bone toy of theirs and took it away. They didn't like it one bit. Oh, no. Best part was when I squeezed the wee toy, it drove them crazy because it made this noise. This noise. Oh, what was that noise? I can't recall. My brain's turned to haggis. Don't mm. fret, Pat. Just mm. rest. It'll come back to you. If we can get that dog toy away from those little shits, I wonder... Yeah. What do we do? If Duncan gets his memory back, we'll get some juicy details of the crime. Hmm. Question is, though, how are we going to get it away from them? I don't know. Oh, wait! Hmm? Do we still have the beach ball? That's uh, it! The sound of the toy! Ah. Now I remember! 
go on, then what happened? Oh, I kept the door and shut the wee doggies doing the slide. They didn't like that one bit neither. <laughs> I was having a grand time. I wanted a wee picky to remember by, so I went down to that photo thingamajig. I struck a manly pose and I was... I was... Uh, oh, Crivens, it's all fading away. I'll be forgetting my own name next. Oh, don't get yourself in a twist, love. It'll come back to you. Hmm. I hmm. think next we need the photo. Yeah. Remember there was a photo on the board in the living room? Of yeah, there was. Yeah. If we can get that. You shouldn't eat candy floss, Mr. Paneer. Bad for your teeth. Oh, I'm not eating it. I just like having something to hold. You must try to stop hmm. worrying so. What? The thumper? Who knows where he'll strike next? I don't think there is a thumper. I think Duncan just fell over and wandered off by himself. He's a clumsy oaf, you know. Aye, he is heavy on his feet, that's for sure. He'll bounce back, he always does. It's Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee I'm worried about. Those silly accusations hurt their failings. I just hope playing dress-up will lift their spirits. A new look is a tonic for the soul, mm. don't you find? Great, I don't mm. know how to play dressing up games as it happens. Doggy dress up, silly. I just need to pick Doggy the right dress outfits. Up. So many to choose from. And mm. put that candy floss down while I'm interviewing you, if you please. Ooh. I'll ask you again, and this time I want a straight answer. Did you or did you not thump Duncan McBiscuit? Did you not? I mean, you did not. Uh, that is to say, me, not you. I mean... I mean, not you, me. But I'll take that. Thank you. All right, that's enough. Just you watch yourself, Mr. Paneer, or I'll be watching you. Got it? Not another word. Phew. What happened to my little friend and protector? I'll have to spin up and over. Right. Okay. Do you like the pretty pictures? Ah! Oh! Little darlings, they love a fashion shoot, but they were so agitated they couldn't sit still. Do you know what upset them? Hmm? Hmm? Some horrid person stole Mr. Squeaky. Isn't that awful? Mr. Squeak is only a bone, but he's absolutely their favorite toy. The three of them are inseparable. Personally, I think it was that constable. Who else could be so cruel as to steal from a couple of helpless little puppies? Hmm. I'll be right back. All right. He's like a little boy, crazy for candy floss. My poor little Duncan. All he wanted was to take me out on a date. Perhaps I'll let him. If we ever get out of here. His holiday didn't turn out quite the way he planned, did it? He thinks he's so important. He looks so happy. He looks lonely somehow. Hmm. Oh, the mayor just seems to have lost his bearings. He can't seem to get over me. Poor boy.
Okay, what did I miss? Um, well, it's expecting the photo booth and... What? Flowers. Anything? Well, what if we did take that fashion magazine? You think maybe that'll do us anything? Give it a try. A customer? Is he there today? Mm. Alright. So we have to get the dogs moving somehow. Yeah. I don't quite know how. Oh, the door is locked on both sides. Eesh. Hmm. So obviously we need to use that. Whoops! Okay, so try the fashion one now. Well, what if we give it to Miss Flit? Yeah. Let's give it a try and see what happens. Okay. Oh, what a nice present. Ah. That's a stylish uh -huh. look. I do admire those sunglasses. I suppose they're back in fashion. Seems I'm something of a trendsetter. <laughs> All right, so... Ah, Granit. You must know what the debonair dog likes. Why don't you help me pick an outfit for my precious darlings? Okay, well that... Hmm... Use your okay. fashion sense and choose your favorite hat, glasses, and color. Okay, well this is the part. We have to, because, you know, Crumb was the right witness we need, but we have to make the dogs look like he saw them, so... Yeah. The question is how... Uh Hmm Finding it hard, aren't you? I'm just the same. Can never decide what to wear. Just weren't they wearing chokers? What? Those spiked collars, weren't they wearing those? Oh, puppets. Someone took their toy. I don't know. Very, very tricky. Indeed. So somehow, some way, we have to figure out how we can move the dogs and also make them look like Crumb apparently saw them. Hmm. This still works somehow. Uh, he, ta he said tattoos on their necks. Hmm. Tattoos on their necks. Does the nice doggy wuggy want to choose another outfit? Oh, what a god. Show me oh, what doggy god. like best. Tattoos on their th that, that, that. That's it. That. But then, what else did he say? What else did they say? Uh, the sailor bananas. Sailors. 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 Yeah. Sailor cap, yeah. Tattoo Bandanas? Like sunken in eyes and something else. So, the sailor cap, the bandanas on their necks, and... It's sunken um, in eyes. Sunken in eyes. Sunken in eyes. So, these? One of these? That's a good choice. Yeah. But one of my sailor hats is missing. Hoochie Woo and Tinky Wee like to wear matching outfits. <sighs> Matching outfits. So sunken in eyes. Which one of those would? Sunken in. Oh hey, Ricto. Hey, Ricto. It's gotta be these or these. Sunken in. I cannot decide. I think the bottom left. Jaunty. These ones? Classy. Yeah. They're sunken Cause they're in. small. Oh, wait, sunken in. Like, don't these glasses look like they're kind of sunken in? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, those. Very latest. 
But we need okay. the, we need the hat though. Yeah, we need the sailor's cap. But where's the matching one? Hoochie woo and Tinky Wee will love this. Hoochie woo, Tinky Wee. Time for dress up, my dears. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Hello. You found Mr. Squeaky, you clever things. I was afraid he'd never turn up. Now we're really ready for some fun, aren't we? Let's get dressed up. The poor things are shy. Would you mind leaving us alone for just a little while? No. <laughs> Where's the matching sailor hat? Well, here's the only other place we haven't looked is the kitchen. Oh, oh yeah. Is, there he is. Watch your ah. daughters, private. There are spies about. Saw myself dragging off that Duncan chap. Not a pretty picture. Hmm. This reminds me of the time I was cooped up in a chicken coop south of Toulouse. My company was pinned down for three days. Nothing to eat but a single croissant and a rotten egg. Have I told you the story, Private? They were the best of times. Or was it the worst of times? I can't recall. There's a missing sailor hat somewhere around here. Where could Checking it be? Visions, eh? Good military planning. Who knows how long that fool of a civilian constable will keep us cooped up? Best start rationing now before panic sets in and we have to eat our pack animals or each other. Yeah. Oh wait a minute, that's right. As uh, what was it? Karma pointed out. If we can, we can get to that. Yeah. Room now. Upstairs, in case. Or not. Huh? so much for that plan. Where is that sailor's cap? Well met, Private. This is no time for cooking. We need to conserve our rations until the last terrible hours. Hmm. Yeah, we were a little too late on the draw there, so that's our fault. So. Yeah. Toast! Toast! Okay, well, that happened. We're gonna be here forever. I'm sure we won't. We have to get the dogs out of the room, first and foremost. Help, well, Help me pick another outfit, Gromit. Hmm. They're sure dogs, you know. Prize winners. Hammer throw? Hammer throw? And you saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Of the I saw that. I saw that. The special honors in the hammer throw. Yeah, I saw that. They're sure dogs, you know. Prize winners. Hmm. If, hmm. We, can, if we can get them out of that room. But right. how? Sweet. We can get him to call her down. Yeah. Exotic. Good dog. <coughs> nice choice. Oh, it's shut up. Dress up time, my darlings. Okay, now's our chance. Okay. Get upstairs quickly. Quickly, hurry. Here they come! Oh no! Well, we're fucked. Uh, the, 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 the lever! Pull him down! We can just... Good thing I remembered. Yeah. Is 
there anything else in here of note? What? The spring. Hmm. Wait a minute. You fix that one. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh. Hmm. I have an idea. What is it? If we do this again... <gasps> now, if I'm right, and I really hope I am right, if we do this again with the spring in that position... Or something. <laughs> All right. Perhaps now, if we show this to McDuncan. All right, hold on, sister. Uh, Geronimo! Not the most conventional of exits, but there you go. <laughs> All right, here we go. What happens if we do this? Oh, that's no help. Hmm. I just kind of remember. I was taking a wee photo and doing something. Oh, I need you to stay good. No, 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 wait. No, wait. The photo. What was he doing in the photo? Ah. Uh, was the cotton I... candy. That's it. Right. I remember. Go on. I was taking a picky, holding a stick of candy floss. Oh, I love that stuff, me. I got my hunger up. Just then, like an answer to my prayers, the gong sounded for supper. I came to table, and there I found heaven, my lovely lass, Felicity. I remember the fine, sweet smell of her, like she smelled flower. Like Flower, yes! Oh, blast it all! My nose is a blank! I cannot recall! Give it to Flower. me, love, you'll remember! Thank God I, I thought to pick that up when we left the first time. There you That's go. That's it! The sweet scent of felicity! How could I forget? I remember! I remember everything now! I'm cured! You've cured my ham knees! <sighs> you cured me, and... And I were a right numpty with you, weren't I? Still are, mm. I reckon. But don't go weepy <laughs> on me now. Tell me what happened after you sat down to supper. I was making a toast when the lights went it. My eyes were adjusting to the dark when... Thump! <gasps> who thumped you? Oh, I never saw who. Gah! I saw uh. what? The ah. gong mallet! Oh! The hammer! The supper gong mallet? You sure, Chuck? Sure? Oh, aye! Look! Look what it did to me! <gasps> me, that's a crime, that is! No wonder your mind's been a Hey! A uh, hey! What kind of person would do that? They should be locked up! You go back to sleep now, love! Get some rest! Now we have to get that thing up, that hammer away from the mallet. Now. How do we get the mallet? That is the question. Oh wait! Hmm? If we're using the dog toy. Wait. Shh. Hi. An extra fluffy batch. Can't do any harm to trade up. Just this once. No! Oh, crikey, it's heavy. Must be family sized floss. No cock and balls! I'll be right back again. Can't decide. 
I'll be right back. All right. Ah. Oh, it's only you, Gromit. For a moment, I thought. Well, never mind. I'm sorry, lad, but if you want some candy floss, you'll have to get your own. I'm rather attached to mine. Surely I can just give him the other candy floss we have, right? Okay, I'm back. Ooh, what do we do? Already got some. We have, we have to figure to out his it. mercies on the idea that a trade might be in order. Yeah, a trade. Oh, what would we trade it with? Twilight. Ooh, but I'm not what really kind of a trade? Hungry. I just what I'm like wondering. holding on to me candy floss. Uh, you don't really... Oh, no, no, wait, wait. Hmm. On to something? Firstly, I don't suppose we can give him the dog toy, right? Oh. I was going to say, what the dog toy? Want yeah, no, that won't do. Damn it. But if we can get the constable to maybe interview him again, because you remember last time he dropped... Yeah! Can we do that again? One of these suspects knows Summit. But who to question first? Uh, the constable? constable? Keeps... All to scent, have you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe this time I'll get some sense out of him. All right, we're getting somewhere. Let's fall we've back. Got, we've got the weapon, which is the gong mallet, but we've got a, we still need a and a witness, Mr. Crumb, but we still have to make the dogs look like he saw them. Um, put so. that candy yeah. down while I'm interviewing you, if you please. That's our chance. You again, and this Get time it. I want a straight answer. Did you? I mean, Shut not your you. face. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we got the weapon. Enough, thank you. Got the witness. That's enough, I said. But we still need the motive. I think. <sighs> what happened to my little friend and protector? I have to spin open over. There you go. There's your candy floss. So you there you know. go, buddy. There you go. Wait, actually, hmm, I'm wondering something. If we go huh? to the notepad, can we put in the things that we... Ooh, uh, hmm. You want something? Shut up. Uh, can we give him this? Found a clue, have you, boy? Better hold on to it. I'm not ready to evaluate evidence at the moment. Hmm. So we still have to find that other missing sailor's hat. You can do. Yeah, we gotta find the hat. Right. The weapon. I'll wager it's a blunt object. Your more polite objects rarely do much thumping. Hmm. Okay, I thought that would work, but no. And that won't do either, so... Hmm. Mm. Alright. A what? Those are artificial flowers, lad. Attractive to the eye, but not to the nose, eh? Must be around here somewhere, right? Where's the sailor hat? Damn. We're on the right track, though. We have the weapon. So we, that's really the, really the step in the right direction. Yeah. We need the motive, too. Good to see you, Private. Not going out that way. Good heavens. Jesus. Someone here must be mm. a member of the Cheese of the Week Club. Alright, that's it there. Yeah, mm. looks like plenty now. Hmm. The question is, where else could we look? Hmm. This is pretty intense, though. I'm liking this. Yeah. I don't suppose we can use the mallet with him, can we? Maybe. Eh, no. No. Well, it was worth a shot. You don't suppose maybe we have to get the constable to interview someone else? Hmm. I imagine so. 
missing the dogs are back up here. They're going back up oh here. Oh god. Never mind. No, thank you. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Uh, you debonair doggy, you. So we're on the right track, we just have to figure out something. They just can't relax without me oh! squeaky. Oh, what, 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 oh. what? Oh, 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 oh. Um, okay, okay. Uh, alright, uh, hold on, I found it. Wait, hold on. Well, don't just spoil everything there. I was just reading. I'm just reading something. Hmm? Do you talk to the Officer Dibbins and then question Mr. Major Major Crumb? Yeah, what about him? Enter the kitchen. Well, don't Wait. spoil everything. We're trying to figure it everything. Now well, I'm only going to that one specific part. Let's see about Un Crumb. Easy boy. Unplug the machine from the yes. wall. I'll have a little chat with the major. What let's machine? Some, let's he some rely heavily he on it, right? Knows. I know. All right, yeah. Let's see what happens if he talks to Crumb. Yeah, I'll talk to Crumb. And if you don't believe me, I invite you hey! to inspect Aha! the evidence. There we go! Are you having a laugh? Enough questions. We're wasting time. The spies could be signaling their ship. If they give away our position, we're done for. Oh, How are we going to get... All right. Yes. Fine. Uh... So tell me what these so-called spies of yours oh, look oh, like. Don't mind if I do. It's dark. Dark as... A darkened room. Then the door cracked open, and I saw them. Swarthy little men with sunken eyes and primitive tattoos, dragging Duncan's limp body. Sailors, judging by their uniforms, natives of the South Seas, I'd say. Stake my reputation on it. Did they look like this? No, no, no. Eyes more sunken, with heavy brows. That's better. Add nautical tattoos round mm. their necks, and don't forget the uniform. There we are. A hint more menace. Just a hint now. Yes, now you've got it. Those are the villains I saw. Right, so this is what they look like, eh? Post that picture to every jack tar in the Navy. We've got to stop them before they make a sketch. Landfall. That's just what I'll do. <gasps> Sketch! The man means uh -huh. well, but he's a couple of bricks short of the full hod. We'll take the hat and the sketch. Alright. Can we get the hat? Well, that was the question. Drive it. Oh, thank God. Alright! I think we're on to something. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait! I just thought of something. Huh? The modem. You don't think we need the squeaky toy for that? Yeah. Oh, oh, you found it. Good boy. Now, Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee can play sailor again. Mm-hmm. So now... Let me pick another outfit, Gromit. Right, so now we gotta get them to dress up. These. These. And, and the hat. These. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. This is going to be such fun. Yes, shush, 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 shush. Don't fuss, sweet. Yes, yes, we're leaving. Yes. They wouldn't let me. What? Oh, what? There we go. Can we pick. Yeah, exactly that. Yes. All right. Are we missing anything else? Hmm. You shouldn't be. Hmm. The 
Let's go to the dining room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh, what do you want? Let's check and make sure we actually have it right. Right. Yo! Yeah! Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Okay. Read you now. I th I'm gonna hope and pray we have everything. So, you think we should try again? Yeah. Eureka! I've got it! You sure this time, Mr. Willis? I'll summon the suspects. Alright. Alright. You have accused Felicity's diminutive dogs of thumping Duncan McBiscuit. To prove it, you need a motive, a weapon, and a witness. Where do you want to start? The motive this time is we have the bone. Yeah. Right, that's the one. What's the one? Uh, motive. I've solved the motive. Excellent! Tell us why uh, what you podge and Tinky Pink thumped Duncan McBiscuit. <laughs> <laughs> well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Can you spare oh. a motive, lad? I if you've got the toy, the squeaky toy, yeah. The motive is. This chew toy. Really? The pups are very attached to that toy. I know from bitter experience. Of course they are. Mr. Squeaky was a present from their mumsy. That doesn't make it a motive for hurting Duncan, though. Oh, yes, it does. Duncan stole the toy from them doggies. Told me so himself. Yep. Oh, we did. If Mr. McBiscuit did indeed take their favorite toy, that could well be a motive for thumping. But why would Duncan want to take Mr. Squeaky? The very idea is ridiculous. Ridiculous? Possibly. But on the balance of probabilities, spot on. I believe this motive meets the test of the law. Got it! Yes! That's one You're down. on the way to proving your case, Wallace. We know the motive. What's next? The, the weapon. weapon. Of course. Now we'll get the facts. Get what facts? Uh, the weapon. I've determined the weapon. Well done. Tell us what, um, what you podge in Winky T used to thump Duncan. The mallet. Well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Do you have anything resembling a weapon, lad? I could use one sharpish. Uh, that would be the gong mallet, yeah. Yes. The weapon is this mallet. Here you bang on the money this time, Wallace. I remember now. That's what it Duncan all read. He said so himself, and he's got the dent in his bonds to prove it. It all makes sense now. That's a maladjusted mallet, all right. Maladjusted? What makes you say that? Well, it looked all fluffy and pink and delicious. But underneath it will rock hard and oh not very God. tasty. Oh, uh, thank God. You, Mr. Pinier. It appears that the mallet is indeed our weapon. Well done, Wallace. Oh, ho, ho. And finally, the witness. The case against uh, them two dogs is coming together. Oh, the the only piece of the puzzle left is the witness. All right. And the witness is... You've been Major Crum another go, are you? Oh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. My witness is Major Crum. Yes. Quite right. I saw him. It was black as pitch. The door cracked open. And I saw him. Dragging yep. away the body. Short, 
hairy fellows with sunken eyes and tattooed necks. Sailors from the South Seas, spies, spies from abroad! Not this again. I think we've heard enough. Wait, Major, did your spies look like them too? Good heavens! Oh! That's them, all right. I'd Bingo! Them anywhere. Put those spies in irons. Don't be silly. They're puppies. Dogs of war, more like. What war? Oh, dogs of war. No war. <laughs> what? Yep. All right, let's let sleeping dogs lie, shall we? The main point is, the Major saw these two dragging away Mr. McBiscuit. Isn't that right, Major? It most certainly is. In that case, according to the law, he is a legitimate witness. Excellent. Wallace, hm. you've shown us motive, weapon, and witness. And according to the powers vested in me as an officer of the law, I now pronounce the case solved. Oh Duncan McBiscuit was thumped by a mallet because of a stolen chew toy, the crime being witnessed by Major Crumb. The perpetrators of this evil deed were none other than the canine criminals Poochy Woo and Tinky Wee. Oh, it can't be. My darlings are precious, kind, insu wincy doggies, not hooligan hounds. I knew it. Wallace knew it. Put him in chains. Throw away the key. Batten down the hatches. Cabin doors to manual. All in a day is detective work. I really do feel fit. Ooh. Oh no. Uh oh. oh, dear. oh. <laughs> ah! No! Oof. Oh dear. Oh, look, lad. The drain must have come on flood. That's handy. Oh, seems to have created oh, a bit of a current. Oh, God. Chapter 4, down the drain? Oh, no. Help, Gromit. I've got that sinking feeling. We're all going down the drain. Oh, Jesus. dear. Okay. Take that. Um... We clearly need to do something with all of this. Oh, oh! Oh, yeah! The rocket! Yeah! I can just... Oh, the kid is the <laughs> ah, yeah. We can just get... We can just grab that somehow. Ow. There must be a way. Uh, we land uh, on them. Hey, yo, Ninja Star. Oh, there we no, go. No, 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 no. No. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Ooh. Now we have to figure out what to do with all this. Starting with um, getting Wallace out of there. Well, that won't do. Alright, heads up. Here we go. No, that will not. So certainly will not do. Right next to them. It's pretty creative, I won't lie. Yeah. It. Throw, Robin, throw! Shoot toy! No! Again? Uh, no. The bazooka? I really see. I've got a sea leg to stand on! This is not, it's not gonna be one of those things where we have to do it at the precise angle, will we? Do we have to? I hope it does. Oh, quit that. Oh, no. 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 O
No, that didn't do. This music, by the way. I know. Hmm. Oh, that insipid barking. Ah. I know. Yeah. Oh. What did you do? Oh, wait. Huh? The lever squeaks. I think we oh, have a yeah. chance. Quickly. All right. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Well, then. Oh, oh damn. Oh, they followed their toy down the drain. Well, I'll give them one thing. They're dogged to the end. Woof. Welcome aboard, lad. Just a short jump to try land, eh? Come on. Oh, no, oh God. I'm about to be flushed through something. Shit. Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay, what do we... Oh, wait. Wait, that won't do anything. The bucket? Something from it. Ooh. Uh. Don't huh? it, you blow yourself to smithereens. Oh, heads up! Okay. Yeah. That did it. Gotcha. Here we go. Thank you. Thank heavens, we've made it, Gromit. We're back on dry land. That's one you owe me, pal. Um, I do hope everyone's had an unforgettable holiday, and that you'll consider visiting West Wallaby Street Waterworld again next year. Ugh. <sighs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Brilliant. The irony is rich. <laughs> From it, where are you, lad? We've got quite a clean-up job in front of us. No time for dawdling. Gromit! Gromit! <laughs> Worse. And there you go! Chapter 2 complete! Nicely done, sister. Yes. What the heck? Uh... Uh... What the? Oh, that's not creepy at all. Fun raise affair. Save the dogs. Oh. Monty Muzzle. Oh, that 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 wasn't creepy at all. No, no, not. Oh yeah, episode two, the last resort complete. All right. That was fun. I hope I didn't keep you for too long, Shadow. Oh, no, not at all. It was fun. It was. <laughs> Anyways, that will be... for the next it. episode. What? Can't wait for the next episode. Same here, but for now, I've got to go prepare for the... I, I legit might order in something again, because goddammit, you made me hungry. Sorry. And I'm but... just going to go take my nap. And I have to prepare for the Splatfest stream later, so uh, yeah, right. thanks again everybody for coming around, have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye!